we are sitting on the ferry itself at Peel, Arkansas, getting ready to cross over Bull Shoals Lake to the other side, which is Peel, Arkansas. We are going to a campground over there called the Highway 125 Campground to check out some sites and see the Corps of Engineer Park. Yep, yeah, it's a Corps of Engineer Park. And we're just hoping that there's a better way of getting back to Forsyth than uh, coming over 160 and 125. That's uh, be kind of harrowing with our uh, motorhome. Yeah, he didn't like the route down here just in the Jeep. He said that it, he wouldn't want to do it in the motorhome. It's a very hilly, twisty, turny road, as they call it in Missouri, the twisties. It'd be great for a motorcycle. They they definitely ride the twisties down this way. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to see you again when we get uh, on the ferry and on the move, and uh, we'll show you some more video of uh, the Peel Ferry. On the other side. On the other side. You can Hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to be alerted when our latest videos are posted. On the other side, we're not off yet though. Okay, you're just getting trees right now, but we just entered the highway 125 park it's a corps of engineer park just across the ferry of bull shoals lake uh looks really nice here right on the water you'll get a glimpse of it in just a moment okay that this road that we're not taking goes right down to the marina and then we're going into the campground Oh, these are nice views out through here. There's the marina, you can see it. That road that we went down first, um, we didn't take, that takes you to that marina. This looks like a caretaker's home, I guess. There's also a resort here. It's called the Wagon Wheel. There it is, the Wagon Wheel Resort. Hmm. Well, this is pretty in here. Looks like well taken care of. I think we're headed down now to where the RV sites are. We had to go through a, like a commercial campground there. It was closed though. There's a couple of house, there a few houseboats sitting here in the marina.
this road is taking us to the campsites. I'll kind of try to angle it up that way. Yeah, it looks like this is a, like a swim area because it's somewhat roped off. Looks like a boat launch right yeah, there. Yeah, somebody um, is mooring their boat. There's probably camp right up here somewhere. Here, I'm, I'm gonna pass it over to you. Some of the sites here looks like they're very well shaded. They got nice concrete picnic tables. All of them a nice view of the lake. Yeah, this is a nice. This is a nice spot. Again, you just have water and electric to uh, 36 sites, and then two sites are just electric only, or not a uh, water only. Guess my cover. Okay. Mm -mm. There's a purple marlin house. This is site. This one is. These are water and electric right here, right on the water, but they're very short. One thirty-three. Yeah. Right this here. one. This one is very nice. Very nice. Here, it's a water and electric site. It's really long. We could get the motorhome in there, and it's shaded. Got a nice big yard. What site was that, Carrie? One thirty-three. One thirty-three. Okay. This or one. B thirty-three. I don't know for sure. Well, it can't be one thirty-three because there's only. 38 spots. B33 then. Okay, 33. B33. Okay, B. Mm -hmm. Let me show him this side. Yep. He's gonna go over to the other side now. Somebody left their firewood for me if I come out here. <laughs> All the uh, sites look like they're paved or concrete, one of the two. Have a fire ring. Have a fire ring, picnic table, lantern holder. A grill uh, up upright grill this one does anyway I'm not sure if they're all 30 amp or 30 50 amp I can't I, it said in the information it's 30 50 and right straight ahead is uh, looks like the la not laundry but showers and restrooms I like they have little uh, shelters over their picnic tables too if you're gonna get that yeah that's what you got there yeah. This is uh, showers in the restrooms. I don't think we're going to be going in there, but. Cleaning crew. Yep, somebody's clean. Oh. This is a nice shaded spot right here. Look at that. What spot is that? That's, this is B22 right here. Nice view of the lake and lots of shade. And it, uh, Yep. Oh, this is just water. No, there's electric pedestal there. Yeah. Yeah. There's some more wood, Gary. All right. <laughs> now, this is a nice little park. It is little, but I bet you this blows up on the weekend. You could probably get in here easily during the week, but on the weekend, that might be a different story. We're pulling into B24 here. This is B24. I want to see what the electric is on B24. It looks okay. like 30 amp to me. All right, there's a water pedestal, water spigot, and then he's going to check out the electric. I believe when I looked, it said that most of the sites were 30, 50. It is 50. We're going to go back around this loop. Oh, it looks like they've got some cabins. That's that wagon oh, wheel. Oh, that's that wagon wheel. Okay, yeah. There's a nice shady spot, too. Water and electric here as well. Might be a little difficult to level there, but this one, this is a nice big spot. That's available, too. I, I don't know what's... B26, what? wasn't it? Um, look at B26, yes. Oh, you're going to have to edit this a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so this is B27 over on this side. Not too short for us. Yeah, and I'll tell you what too, there is a nice breeze coming across off the lake here. Even today, I mean, it's probably near 90, and uh, we've got the windows down and it's almost comfortable. <laughs> our temperature said, on our cars is 97. Okay, well, it's almost comfortable with the windows down, with that breeze going through. Well, that was a tour of the park campsites themselves. Yep, so we're going back around. We tried to stop at the ranger station to get a map. I'll tell you, I'm going to go one more time. I didn't go up this way. Okay. All right, this is B10 right here. like in the middle of the campground. Very I'm nice. You. Yeah, I like that one. That's B9. B9. Yeah. B9. This oh, must that's... be B8. Oh, look at that. That's a got a... Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. But it ain't got a yard. That's okay. It's got a yard on both sides. Yep. I mean, B... You, I See, don't know. B8. I this like that one I said just a moment ago. Okay. I'd take this one too if we could get it. So that was a little loop there. I don't know. There was probably... What'd you say? Maybe. About four or five sites in that one yeah, there. Yeah, not too many. They're still cleaning. Let me see it. Okay. This is the other side of the road. Now these have little covered shelters. Yeah. That's really nice. nice. This is B17. Right there. And that's a 30, 50, 20 amp. That looks like that'd be a nice one. This guy's here for a little while. He's on... B16. Well, we're gonna maybe try to get a campground map when we leave here. If you don't have, if you don't have an RV, looks like you could stay at this little. I think they're closed down, honey. Oh. I think they are completely closed. That wagon wheel. Yeah. Well, they may have been closed because the water has been really high. It's been flooded where we are, so I'm sure it was flooded here as well. I don't know how high the water did get here. But that may be one reason why that little uh, resort is closed. And the water is still high right now because look at the signs down there. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why there's no beach. <laughs> and that's like a it. swimming area, yeah. but... Uh... It's... Uh... Okay, since we're coming back, I'm going to show you uh, the sights from a different angle. And here is the playground out in the middle of the sun. So I don't think there'd be too many kids this time of year out there playing. But it's there for the taking if you're so inclined. And there's another little picnic shelter right here. So if you have more people and you want a larger picnic area to have like a small family reunion, this will work. Extra parking right here. another view of that wagon wheel resort that seems to be closed so you know if you want to come down this way and you don't have an RV it's worth checking it out hi everybody we just finished our tour of the highway 125 bold shoals Corps of engineer park which is just feet from the ferry exit when you get off the ferry, be prepared to turn left. Yeah, I mean, right after, <laughs> it ain't, it isn't a quarter mile, eighth of a mile maybe, and then you're making your left into here. We're gonna try a different route on the way home. So uh, we're gonna get up here and get back on the highway or back on the road, 125. And uh, we're gonna get back to the house, go grab us a bite to eat and see what we can come up with. We're not gonna go back over the ferry. We'll probably go back up till we can catch 65 and then just take that north. That's what we're gonna do. Folks, have a great day today. Thanks a lot for sticking around with us. Don't forget to like and share. And if there's any parks that you might think of that you want us to go view in the Missouri area, Branson area, let us know. We'll, well be glad to go down and take a ride. Yeah, or if there's anything that we could do better, give you more site views or whatever, we, we're open to your suggestions, whatever, whatever we can do to make things easier for you to make a decision on where you might wanna go. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day today, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. Bye. Bye.
turning this off. <laughs> 